I had some nice responses to the last video and one guy asked what's the fastest bow design in my opinion well I'm taking that to mean bow design for you know what a wooden including bamboo bow not not one with modern materials so without further ado my fastest bow is that one it's a little self Osage bow I bought the Osage back from the States kindly given to me by a guy who goes by the name of Osage Outlaw Clint nice chap he let me take that bit of Osage back home with me you can see it's got a little cutaway arrow pass arrow shelf it's got a little bit of reflex deflex but my opinion is that reflex is a snare and a delusion you don't get anything for nothing you get out for now as they say up north so if you reflex a limb too much it means you're just lo losing draw weight because if you drew it to where you would have drawn it previously you'll just overstress the limb and it will break or take set or pull back to where it was before so if I have reflex I like to balance it with a bit of deflex as well so the tips end up just about in line with the back of the bow I'm not saying that's right just my opinion a lot of guys especially the guys in the States like a bit of reflex and like their flipped tips but and it's a big but they use a short draw a lot of them especially if they're hunting they use you know a short draw like this if you're using a long draw you need a bow with longer limbs or you can't afford to have the reflex again what do we mean by the fastest bow the fastest bow for what pure flight shooting or for throwing a 32 inch war bow arrow well obviously for the war bow you need a big long English long bow with a fair bit of you in it but um, that's my fastest bow well, I've done some others this is a very I think it's only about 35 pounds this is a bit more extreme it's you backed with bamboo you can see a lot more deflex and a lot more reflex but still my general rule of having the tips line up with the back of the bow is still there it's, it's not an impressive performer it says it's 40 pound at 28 but well, it's fairly impressive for its draw weight but not wow uh, but I think with any well-made wooden bow taken to the limit it'll pretty much go as far as another well-made bow of a different design so it's the wood that's a limitation uh, I think this one I think this is about 40 pound now I think this shoots further than that recurve uh, that's cherry backed with you so as I said in my original answer I think it's more about the bowyer and maybe the wood than the actual design the thing in common with all my fastest bows is not so much the, de the design but the wood or what I've done with the wood they're nearly all got a heat treated belly which gives adds about say 10 pound draw weight to a, a finished bow uh, so you're getting more draw weight for the weight of timber if you like and often they're bamboo backed so the one I hadn't mentioned is this this is a 50 pound draw weight English longbow but it's not actually that long so again you then get into the definition of what do you mean by a specific design when is a longbow not a longbow anymore uh, and you can see it's very slim fair a bit flatter on the belly than some people would think was a traditional longbow but it meets pretty much the um, definitions of a longbow tiny hint of reflex again and you can see the marks from the heat treating 
I won a flight competition with that, but the, the distance was pretty poor because it was uphill into a headwind in the pouring rain. But um, it did win. So if we compare that with the Osage, you'll see the limbs aren't that much different. They're both sort of rectangular cross section. The big difference is draw weight. The little longbow is 50 pound, the Osage is nearer 80. Uh, again, a very rectangular cross section. I don't know how well that shows up. Very flat belly. But again, you can see the heat treating shows up more on that limb. Sort of there, you can see it. The heat treating showing up. Very narrow tips. So what makes a fast bow is taking the design to the limit. So take the tips as thin as you can. You want a, a narrow bow so that the arrow's not having to flex to get round the arrow pass. Again, you can comp if you compare the width of the Osage with the width of the long bow at the actual arrow pass, they're virtually identical. So it's the bowyer, the materials, the design to some extent. One of my favourite quotes from Chris Boynton, who's no longer with us, unfortunately. I showed him this and was saying, yeah, I do wonder if I could always save a bit more weight at the tips. And he just grinned and said, yeah, you can always lose a bit of weight off the tips, <laughs> which I thought was just a nice thing to say. Basically slim them till they break and then go back a little bit.